Hey there, Joe here from Wildfire Social Marketing. As you know, I've mentioned before, LinkedIn are rolling out a massive update, the biggest update they've ever done, um, which involves the desktop getting a, a huge makeover um, to reflect the mobile app. Now, one of the features that is being removed is Save Search. So I'm not sure if you're using this feature, but if you are, this this one's for you. It's just to show you how to how to um, capture your current searches before they're removed. So if we go into, we we'll click on Advanced Search, which is uh, up here. This will bring open your search window. But we're not really interested in the Advanced Search features. But this what this is what we would have used to set up our saved search. If we click on here, let's close that. Click on Save Search, and this will list all the searches that you have um, saved. And the, the beauty of saving searches is you've you've set some particular criteria, and then what LinkedIn has done until now is, on a weekly basis, it will send you an email alert telling you of any new people added to this particular search in terms of criteria. So for this example, I've got five because that's what my, my account allows. So I've got a people search on Albany senior roles. So I'm looking for location Albany um, and the role types are senior level. So that's just something I'll be monitoring. And this week, uh, there are 15 new people that meet those criteria. So each week, as if someone moves into a job in with, with Albany and all the criteria, it will be added to this number. So 15 over the last week and I can see the creation date here. So if I want to have a look at this, if I click on the save search now, it's going to open it up. I can see there are 399 results for Albany with all these criteria at the top. So senior manager, director, owner, partner, first and second connections. So first connections, I've already got those anyway, so I could actually take those away. And here we've got 393 results for second level connections in this particular um, demographic. Now, if I want to save this in your um, search bar, which is out of shot here, but up the top, you can simply copy that search um, URL. If I control C that um, and save, then I open up a new window to test it. I'm going to paste it in, control V to paste it in, enter, and it should open up again the same save search. So what you can do is um, with each of your save searches, copy the URL in your address bar, either create um, a bookmark. So you might create a folder saying LinkedIn direct links or something like that. And um, that's what I've done and save it in there with a particular name. So um, for this one, I might call it um, save search Albany senior roles or something like that. You might also copy and paste that link into, a, say, a Word document to, to capture it there and, and create a, um, a document full of all your direct links that you want to capture. So that gives you access to this particular these particular results again. Whoops, wrong screen, so let me go back to where I was. Um, so I hope that's being helpful for you. So if you are using Safe Searches, that's that's where you can find it. So once again, it's in the search advanced search area, Safe Search. Um, and click into each each individual search and save the link. And off you go. If you want to see the new people as well, you just click on the number. So here's the 15 people here that meet those criteria. So this has been Joe from Wildfire Social Marketing bringing you another LinkedIn tip. There'll be more to come, but that's just one of the features being removed by the LinkedIn update at this point that um, I've been advised of. So um, enjoy your LinkedIn experience and enjoy the update when it comes.